Hi guys! So today I have a get ready with me for New Year's Eve and today is actually New Year's so you guys probably won't actually be able to use this to like guide you. It's not really like a tutorial. It's just showing you what I did. I'm going to show you my face. I mean my, ma my makeup, my hair as well as my outfit. Um, yeah, I also fixed the lighting a little bit. It's still natural light outside. I'm using one studio light over here because I have like some lamps going on over here that I already had on. So tell me if you guys think that the lighting is good in this or better than in my last video. Just let me know how you guys are feeling about this. My last video, if you did not see it, will be linked down below. It was my what I got for Christmas video for 2013. It was my first what I got for Christmas video ever. But anyways, today I'm going to be featuring a lot of the beauty products that I got or that I received, um, as well as just a few oldie bit goodies. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy the video and let's get started. Using my Clean and Clear Morning Burst Hydrating Gel Moisturizer, I'm just going to apply this onto my face to moisturize and prep my face for the makeup we are going to be applying. Now I'm using my Maybelline BB Cream, which is basically a hydrating foundation that's a lot less, or a lot more sheer. Um, I'm just going to use this as a primer on my face. It has SPF, so I really love um, what it does for my skin whenever I go out. And this just adds more coverage to the foundation that we're going to be applying over it. I just think that this is really good because it moisturizes my skin and it still adds more coverage, so I love using this as a primer. I'm using my Benefit Stay Don't Stray, which is going to prime for my concealer as well as my eyeshadow. I'm blending that into my eyes using my Real Techniques setting brush. Using my Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour Concealer in the shade Cream, I'm just going to be applying this into the hardcore under eye circles as you can see right here, as well as the darkness sort of like in other places you see how I'm kind of bringing it up into my eye and then I'm just going to be blending that with my ring finger or not my ring finger with I don't know a finger um, just because I feel like this takes away less product than using a brush does and this really packs on the coverage so I love this concealer and I really like blending it out like this whenever I'm trying to use it like hardcore and get the most coverage possible and then using my Maybelline instant age rewind dark circle eraser I'm just going to be applying that again over that concealer just to make that concealer look a little bit more my skin tone and then I'm also applying that onto any other spots or redness that I don't like on my face. I'm again using that setting brush from Real Techniques and I love this brush. I got it for Christmas and I just think it is so fantastic. It's so soft and it works so well. For foundation, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in the shade 110, just pouring that onto the back of my hand and then I'm using my Real Techniques buffer brush. I think I said at some point that it was the stippling brush, that it, but it's the buffer brush. So I'm either buffing that into my skin or kind of like tapping it into my skin and then I'm just blending it down my neck. We are just figuring out together how this works best so I kind of just I'm applying it how it seems to be working best. I'm using the e.l.f. High Definition Under Eye Setting Powder for what it sounds like just to set my under eye concealer. And then with my Mary Kay Loose Powder, I'm just going to be shaking some into the lid and then using my e.l.f. Mineral Powder Brush and just kind of buffing that into my skin so that I am completely matte. For my eyebrows, I'm just taking my Urban Decay Naked Basics palette as well as the color called Naked 2 in here and I'm just going to be filling in my eyebrows with an angled brush. I don't show this completely because I show you guys this all the time, but once I'm done with that, I'm going to use my e.l.f. Um, eyebrow treatment came and just run that through my eyebrows. So at this point I got really, really hungry for some reason, so I'm just eating an apple and I was already filming it, so you know, here it is. Now for eyeshadow, I'm using my Stila in the light palette. The first color I'm taking are Wind and Air, which are like light cream and light, just light colors basically, and I'm just applying that onto my eyelids to make the other eyeshadows that we will put on after this more blendable. And then I am just going to do that to the other eye, of course. Next, I'm using the shade Fire as well as that little matte brown color right there. I don't know exactly what it's called, but I'm just buffing that into my crease. I'm going for a really, really warm look with this, but not something that's going to make my eyeshadow just look straight up orange. So I'm just being very careful blending this because if you don't blend it out well, you will look like you tried to make a Halloween look and it didn't go right. 
Now I'm using the Ultra Single Eyeshadow in the shade Sable, which is like an orangey kind of brown color, and I'm just going to be using a larger fluffy brush to blend that again into my crease to tone down that other orange color that we use because I don't want it to be quite that dramatic. And then I'm using this um, e.l.f. Mineral Eyeshadow Palette, and I'm pretty sure this is in the shade California, if you're wondering. And I'm just taking a copper shade on my finger and applying that on to my lid with my finger. That's really just the best way I've found to apply this to get the least fallout and the most pigmentation. Then I'm taking the light pink shade next to it and applying that on the inner third of my lid. And then I'm taking the really shimmery white color and applying that on my inner corner for my highlight, as well as that matte white color in, my, in the light palette and highlighting my brow bone with that. Now I'm using my Rimmel Scandal Eyes Black Eyeliner in my waterline and my tight line. And then for some reason I didn't film this, but basically I just smudged some other brown eyeshadow underneath my um, lower lash line. So now for my contour, I'm using my Urban Decay Naked Flushed Palette and I'm using my um, Real Techniques contour brush and I'm just taking the bronzer in there and doing a contour. Nothing ex extremely dramatic but I'm just making sure that I blend that out really really well and I'm also going to do a little bit of contouring of my nose. For blush I'm using the MAC Well Dressed Blush. I love this. It's like a satin finish or it's supposed to be satin. It really just looks natural to me but I love this blush. I'm literally obsessed with it. And then I'm using my Mary Luminizer for a highlight and I'm just taking that on a little brush. I don't know what it's called. I'm curling my eyelashes to prep them for mascara and then for mascara I'm using the Maybelline Big Eyes Mascara and I love this. It has two sides. This is definitely like one of my favorite mascaras of the year. It's so great so I just use the larger lash side for my upper lashes and then one tip is to use the mascara behind your lashes so apply a little bit there and it helps keep the curl and build so much more volume. So I'm doing that to both eyes and then um, also using the lower lash side for my lower lashes. And then once I'm done with that, I'm going to use my Tarte um, Lights Camera Flashes Mascara, not the lashes, the flashes. And I'm just going to apply that over that on my uh, over over the Maybelline one um, on my upper and lower lashes. I love this these two together. This is my first time using those exact two and only those two, but I loved it and I thought it looked really really nice. Lastly for makeup, I'm just using my Revlon Lip Butter in the shade Raspberry Pie. I love this. I think it's such a flattering shade and I think it looks really nice and glamorous for New Year's. On my nails, I'm just wearing this polish from Orly. It's like a purple with some gold shimmer in the light and it's in the shade Ingenue. I think that's how you say it. And then lastly, no not lastly, sorry. For my hair, I'm just going to be doing a fishtail. So basically, I brought my hair over to one side and then I split it into two parts and then I'm taking a small piece of hair from one side and then bringing it to the other side, taking a small piece of hair from that side, bringing it to the opposite side. And you just keep on doing this. I'm sure you guys know how to do this or at least have seen how to do this. So that's what I'm doing and this is what it looked like once I was finished and then I just fluffed up my hair a little bit. For the outfit, I decided to wear this. So my sweater is from Aeropostal, and then I was really proud of myself because I matched my earrings with my belt, and I just thought I was so cool. So my earrings, I actually don't know where they're from. They were in my stocking, so I'm sorry, I don't know where they're from. But the belt is from Forever 21. It was super inexpensive. And then my jeans, I also am not sure where they're from. I think they might be from Target, but they're too short for me, so I had to like roll up the bottom, and yeah. And then for my shoes, I'm wearing some from Clark's, which you can't really see. For fragrance, I'm using my pink fresh and clean perfume, which my friend Ryan gave to me for Christmas, so thank you. I love it. It smells so freaking good. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it helpful. Sorry, I'm like still figuring out exactly how I want to set this all up because like I've said before, my camera like doesn't have a thing that flips over like so I can, it doesn't have a viewfinder basically except for on the back because it is like a shooting point and shoot I think it's called. Um, so I have to like either set it up in front of a mirror or just be very like selective of where I place it so I'm still kind of figuring stuff out but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the video found it helpful and I will talk to you guys next time thanks so much for watching bye